Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. I love his... I love his last name just for the fact that when he signs out, he says, Hack it out. I just... I, I, I just find it funny. Yeah, but before that, we're gonna go down to the shuttle bay. We're gonna go to the armory. We're gonna go to the cargo hold. We're just gonna look at everything we got here. Weapon upgrade. Uh, actually, weapon bench. We're gonna go there first. Um, actually, I don't want the heavy pistol. Let's see, is this lighter? Um, yeah. So, this right here, the more weight, like the more guns that you carry, the higher the weight is. And the more weight you carry, the slower your powers will recharge. But, the way I, the way I play it is I... I mainly use, I mainly use weapons. I mainly use weapons, then I only use, um, I, I only use, um, powers when I need to. I'm gonna go to the armor, the armor, armory, I should say, pick out the casual gear. Um, I like that one. No helmet, chest. That's what I ran with in Mass Effect 2. I don't really care about melee damage. Oh, my video I'm done saving there. Pattern color, we're gonna make it green. Or, what other colors are there? Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's a ton of them here. We're actually gonna make it. We're actually gonna make it blue. Make the tint white. Tint number two. Make it black. And the lights in the, on the back of his thing here, right here. We are gonna make those blue as well. Save an exit. That's what he, that's what he's gonna look like. <coughs> that's what he's gonna look like now and during combat. Go over here. Wait, do I have any? 
mods for this. Yeah, I do. All right, I have two. Increased damage by 5%. Speed penetration by 25%. Enhances aiming for a brief time. And then increased damage by 15%. So, increase the damage of 20% now. Cool. Um, all right, so we got assault rifle, SM... Oh, actually, what helps out is buying... Upgrades like this. That's the heavy pistol. This is the submachine gun. Is buying upgrades like this. Is buying upgrades for your weapons because what it, what it will do is it will reduce the weight of the weapons. And then if you go over here, you can see it's down to 30. When the last time that I came in here before I bought the upgrades, it was 38%. So the more upgrades you buy, the more upgrades you buy, the less. Yeah, the less weight that the guns are, and the quicker your the quicker your powers recharge. Here, we're gonna open up the galaxy map, and we are going to actually before we it's over here, Cerberus Lab. We're gonna go to the Cerberus Lab first, actually. Go to the ma go to the mass relay here. Booyah. I love that sound. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to undercover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reaper will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you're in, flee and wait until you've complete, completed a mission before returning. Yes, I... Oh. Look at that planet right there. It's a planet like right... Wallace? Is that the name of the planet? Wall... Let's check it out here. This is this is something cool about Mass Effect is if you see a planet that you like, you can click on it and it will open up a journal. An unusually small Pegasid or hot Jupiter, Wall Wallace. That's all I'm gonna. That's what. That's how I'm gonna. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it. Was originally an extrasolar planet that entered this system and was captured by the gravity well of the G-class star Skepsis. Uh, Tight, tight, tidally locked Wallace's hot side reaches temperatures of over 2,500 degrees Celsius. Wow. While not large enough to uh, proportionate to the star to cause ellipse, ellipses visual from Watson, it is easily seen at dawn or dusk as one of the biggest objects in the sky. Orbital distance 0.04 AUs. So it's four one hundredths. It's four one hundredths of Earth orbit around the sun. That's what AU means. It goes around goes around that star in eleven days. And its radius is thirty nine thousand four hundred fifty nine kilometers. But it's days. But so it ro so it rotates shorter. So it rotates slower than Earth does because it takes eleven days to eleven Earth days to complete one of those days. Now we're going to fly across the nebula here. One thing I love about Mass Effect is the artwork in this game. I'm a big I'm a big fan of I'm a big fan of out, I'm a big fan of outer space. Um, I'm not going to read you that journal. I just thought that that planet looked cool since it was so close to that star. It was so close to that star, and it just looked cool, so I had to show it to you. Um, well, I'm gonna pick James and Liara, since this is the only ones you can pick. You can cycle their appearance. I like Liara's. I like that armor on Liara better. Um, all right, hey, weapons. You can select the weapons. You can select the weapons that your uh, squad members carry. Uh, that looks good. Uh, powers. I have ten points to spend. Before we spend any of my points, I'm just gonna auto level up Liara. I'm gonna auto level up James. Alrighty. Okie dokie. Now, here's another thing that's cool about Mass Effect 3 is 
the RPG elements that come with um, Mass Effect 3. Like, these are all the powers that I can use. Um, and let's see here. One power that I love is concussion is concussive shot. And it says, flatten your enemies with a precise blast at short or long range, effective against barriers. Um, alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and press the expand button. And it's going to open us up, and now you can upgrade this power, all of these, <coughs> all of these levels. Excuse me. <coughs> Alrighty. So, I can buy level one, which means that I can use it now. Now, the next level that I have to buy is level two. Now, see, these points over here are how many upgrade points I have, and each upgrade whatever rank it is that's how many points it uses so this is rank two so it's going to use two of these points um, increase recharge speed by 25 percent and last but not least um, actually we're not going to upgrade that yet we're going to wait um, I want frag grenades because those are important so upgrade that and increase the grenade capacity by one so I can carry more grenades um, cryo ammo is good like I said in my other videos. Um, I'm actually probably I'm probably just gonna unlock this disruptor ammo as well. I just like having all of the ammo types. Um, you know what? Fitness. You no, know, we're just gonna unlock every power so that I can be I can be I can have I have, can have a good starting point to when I later in the game here. See, that already increased my health and my shield capacity. So, let's go take out this Cerberus base. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret Cerberus lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Reaper artifact in the next part. So stay stay tuned and I'll see you then.